Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will talk about the cultivation process of radish crop. Radish has different names in different languages. In Hindi, it is called Muli. The botanical or scientific name of radish is Raphanus sativus and it belongs to the family Brassicaceae. Radish is one of the choicest vegetables grown all over the world. Its green leaves are a rich source of vitamin A. It is a quick growing vegetable, thus occupies field for a very short period of time. Also, it is equally suitable to be grown on a large scale and can also be grown in kitchen or nutrition gardens. Radish is a herbaceous plant grown for its edible taproot. The radish plant has a short hairy stem and oblong shaped leaves which measure 5 to 30 centimeters. Radish attains the best flavor, texture and size between 10 to 15 degrees centigrade. Long days as well as high temperature lead to bolting without adequate root formation. The crop should be harvested while young and small in size. The radish grown at higher temperature is more pungent. Pungency decreases with cooler temperatures. Let us now see the stages involved in the cultivation process of radish crop. The stages are land preparation, seed sowing, irrigation, weeding, pest and disease management and harvesting and yield. Let us now see how the land is prepared in the cultivation process of radish crop. Sandy loam soils with high organic matter are highly suitable for the cultivation of radish crop. The highest yield can be obtained at a soil pH of 5.5 to 6.8. Roots of best size, flavor and texture are developed at about 15 degrees centigrade. Heavy soils produce rough, badly shaped roots with a number of small fibrous laterals and therefore such soils should be avoided. The first ploughing about 30 cm deep is done with soil turning plough and the remaining 4 to 5 ploughings are done with desi plough. Each ploughing should be followed by planking. Application of well decomposed farmyard manure should preferably be done at the time of first ploughing. Once land preparation is complete, irrigate the entire field and sow the seeds in the field. Radish seeds count around 100 to 125 seeds per gram. Approximately 9 to 12 kgs of seeds will be sufficient for sowing in 1 hectare of land. Soaking radish seeds in naphthalene acetic acid before sowing helps in the cultivation. The seeds are mixed with sand or soil in the ratio of 1 is to 4 and scattered over the field as even as possible followed by planking. Plants are spaced after germination while hoeing. We will now see the irrigation and weeding practices in the cultivation process of radish crop. The first irrigation is done immediately after sowing. It is necessary that enough soil moisture is available to help uniform seed germination and growth of the plant. Seeds germinate and small radish plants emerge from the soil in 6 to 7 days. If sufficient soil moisture is not available at the time of sowing, the first irrigation is given immediately after sowing. It is advantageous in case of light soils but it hinders the germination in heavy soils. In such soils, 
the surface becomes dry with hard film formation before the seeds sprout. In this case, it is always safer if the sowing is done when enough of soil moisture is available for germination. Depending upon the season and the soil moisture availability, radish may be irrigated once or twice a week. It should not be irrigated very frequently, but care should be taken that field does not become dry and compact and the root development is not checked. Let us now see pest and disease management in the cultivation process of radish crop. Radish crop can be attacked by pests such as radish mustard sawfly, aphids and flea beetle. Diseases that attack the crop are downy mildew, alternaria blight, white rust and black rot. Insecticides and pesticides can be sprayed to control the attack by pests and spread of diseases. To control radish mustard fly, spray insecticide 7 WP. In the same way, to control aphids, spray insecticide Melathion. Spraying a fungicide Facetil controls the downy mildew disease. White rust disease can be controlled by spraying fungicide Dithane. Growing resistant varieties and cultivars is the only control method for controlling radish blight and black rot diseases. Depending upon the cultivars, the roots become ready for harvesting in about 25 to 35 days after sowing. In India, harvesting is done manually. A light irrigation may be given before harvesting to facilitate lifting of roots. In other countries, commercial radish growers use a single row harvester that pulls the plants from the soil, cuts the roots from the top, then places them in bags for transportation to a picking shed. The Asiatic improved varieties produce 150 to 250 quintals roots per hectare in 40 to 60 days. Whereas the European or temperate varieties produce 80 to 100 quintals roots per hectare in 25 to 30 days. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the cultivation process of radish crop. Stay connected with tutorialspoint.com to watch our next tutorials on the cultivation process of different crops. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.